Secrets. We all have them. Like how I secretly sell bootleg copies of Minecraft on VHS. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to buy one. But you have to tell me if you're a cop, because then you get a discount. Greetings. My name is Narrator. I'm like if white bread was sentient and almost had a personality. Wait, something's off. Marilla seems a bit more clearly missing than usual. Hey, cat! I can't host this show without Marilla, contractually. I'll have to find her. Hmm, if I know anything about women, she's either in a swamp or the deep dark. Since I believe Marilla was created a few thousand years before rocks were invented, Minecraft's ancient cities in the deep dark are probably my best bet of finding her. Let's take a look at some top secret concept art. For the ancient cities, our developers were inspired by Mayan temples and Roman ruins. That's what they told us when they charged us for expensive trips to those locations anyway. They were trying to capture a feeling of something that feels like it was once bustling with life, but is now vacant and lifeless, like me. These documents show us ideating a version of the skulk that would be much easier to trigger. Simply stepping on it would make a lot of noise and attract you-know-who. Luckily for you, we're not that cruel. Wait, we're not that cruel? Since when? <laughs> I've said it before, but I still get paid if I say it again. Concept art is not a sacrosanct blueprint. Often, our artists are trying to capture the atmosphere that they hope the final biome or feature will evoke. Finally, a family game that's going for an atmosphere of foreboding dread. There is law behind these cities, but it's important to us that this law is left up to player interpretation. We provide the building blocks and the players create the stories. Incidentally, if anyone's keeping track of the lore of this show, please start a wiki. I'm pretty sure I married someone. Check if it was Jens, won't you? Don't worry, I'm sure Marilla's fine. Or in terrible danger. I've narrowed it down to those two. She's probably pitching some awful spin-off show or something. Actually looks borderline watchable. We had a lot of different ideas for the deep dark at first, some better than others. The original concept was very different. Here's some early designs. Originally, it was going to feel like an underwater biome, but with the water missing. It'd be like taking an empty bath, but hopefully slightly more interesting. The plan was to have lots of floating jellyfish in the air and ghostly looking blocks. Just ghostly looking, I should stress. You're not going to be confronted by the vengeful ghosts of every block you've ever mined. We're saving that for a future update, when we want the game to stop being popular. In this version of the Deep Dark, the only source of light would have been bioluminescent blocks, potentially like the ones seen here. We liked this idea a lot, but it didn't really fit the creepy vibes of the Warden and the Skulk. In fact, I myself am probably too creepy to be talking over it, so I'm going to shut up now. So, Marilla, ready to tell our viewers some secrets about ancient cities? Sure am, buddy. By the way, you're beautiful and everyone likes you. Good point, old friend. And, oh, who am I kidding? I can barely do my own voice. What we're aiming to do with the deep dark and ancient cities is fill you with a sense of foreboding mystery. Like there's some long-forgotten secret you have to uncover, but despite having some of the pieces, you can't completely figure it out. I suppose some secrets are just undiscoverable. No wonder our show got cancelled. Oh, well that was surprisingly easy. They're planning to what? No, they can't do that. Mobbo! You're behind this! What have you done with Marilla? And far more importantly, what are you planning to do with me?
Mobo. This plan is barbaric. Jonathan? I mean, William? I mean... Ah! Hello? Anyone there? I'm back from my holiday in the swamp. You know, the one I told you about like 50 times so you wouldn't panic and go on a dangerous adventure to look for me. Oh no, someone should look for him. Bye.